Hello everyone, I am recording this video on Monday, June 28th. Candace Bly, Summer Wells' mother, did an interview on TV tonight, and I've watched that video several times now, and I'm going to share it with you as well. In that video, Candace talks about what happened that day that Summer was reported missing. Her telling of it begins with being there at the house uh, my understanding from Facebook posts and from her TikTok are that earlier in the day, she, Summer, and another child were at a swimming hole and that she dropped that other child off around 2.30 and went home. So then while she was home, Candace and her mother and Summer were planting flowers and I assume over there by the grandmother slash mother her trailer and then when they were done they washed their hands and summer got a piece of candy from the grandma so that would be the candy that everybody's been talking about and it is actually candy and summer got candy from inside grandma's trailer then Candace walked Summer to the porch, which is the porch that we've seen, you know, the point of view of watching Summer dancing in the rain in front of the porch. So anyway, walked her in the door of that porch. Candace saw Summer go in and saw her boys that were watching TV, and she told them to watch Summer and said she'd be back. Now, she says it only took her two minutes to do whatever it was she was doing, and she went back in you know, it could have been more, who knows. And when she went in, she asked the boys where Summer was, and they said she was downstairs in the playroom playing with her toys. And so Candace, at some point, called for Summer a couple times and didn't get any answer, which she thought was unusual. Then she goes downstairs and looks for Summer, and Summer's not there. Let's watch the interview. We really miss her very much. She was the angel of blessing, the love of our life. She, she's what made our world go around. It's been 13 days since Candace Bly and Donald Wells last saw their five-year-old daughter, Summer. I'm just scared that somebody's hurting her, and there's nothing I can do about it. And it it smothers me. As the almost two week long search through the rough terrain scales back, Summer's parents say they believe someone took their daughter. Personally, I think someone came up here and grabbed her and ran down the hill. I think so and too. Threw her in a car and drove as far away as they could from this area. I know she didn't walk away from this property by herself or off this yard by her swing. I feel in my heart that somebody has came up here and took her, has lured her away from here. Around 6.30 in the evening on June 15th, her father called to report her missing, but he wasn't home yet from work. Me and my mother and her were planting flowers, and we went in after we got done washing our hands, and she got a piece of candy from Grandma, and she wanted to go back over and see her brothers. And I said, okay, and I walked her all the way over to the porch, and I watched her walk into the kitchen where the boys were watching TV. And I told the boys, I said, watch Summer, I'll be back. And within two minutes, I came back, and I asked the boys where their sister was, and they said, she went downstairs, Mom, to play with her toys in the playroom. I said, okay. And I yelled downstairs for her a couple times, and I didn't get no answer, which was unusual because usually she always answers me. And so I went down there to check, and she was nowhere in sight. She was just gone. Summer has three older brothers. When they get out of line, she'd put them in line. Her parents say she loves princesses, especially the movie Frozen, and to be outside. She loves to dance. She she would always want me, she says, Daddy, hold my hand so I can twirl. And she would, she would just like to twirl and twirl and twirl until my arm got tired. She loved to play in the mud and the water and swing on her swing. And 
Enjoy dirt. Now, authorities are looking for the driver of a red Toyota Tacoma that was in the area around the time Summer went missing and stressing that this person is a potential witness. I've never seen this truck and I've never heard of it until just recently. But I wish they would come forward and explain themselves. And if you're not a suspect, at least come forward and say what you've seen. No one has been named a suspect, and authorities have not ruled Summer's disappearance as an abduction. But tonight, her parents have one plea. Please find it in your heart, have mercy, and find a way of letting her go and, and where we can get her back. Please bring her back home. Just let her come home, please. We miss her so much. Her brothers are so devastated that they wake up every morning crying for their sister. And as a mother, it really hurts to see your other children crying. And you had a chance to ask what I'm sure a lot of people were wondering about why Summer's hair was so short and both Summer's mother and father had comments about that. They both told me that she had already cut her hair. They said it was something most little girls do. They get a hold of the scissors and already cut her hair. Um, and that they just decided to go ahead and shave it all off. It was just a little bit too difficult, is what they told me, mm -hmm. to go ahead and style it that way. Um, her mother did tell me that she shaved her head as well to make Summer feel more comfortable. But that was why they told me her hair was a lot shorter than originally pictured. Well, I noticed that both parents had watery eyes it looked like they were tearing up and they are both expressing that they're missing summer and they want her returned they made a plea and i noticed that candace mentioned something about by her swing regarding summer when they were thinking about how somebody might have taken summer and that is sort of credible to me that she could have left to go play with her swing because I've seen video of her playing on that swing. She got a lot of enjoyment out of that swing. You know, it's possible that she went downstairs and then decided to play on her swing instead without telling anyone. I have a poem by Nicolette Souder. Give me the wild children with their bare feet and sparkling eyes, the restless churning climbers, the wild ones using their outside voices, singing all the way home. Give me the wonder-filled, glorious messmakers, dreaming of mountains and mud and aching to run through a field of stars. Mine are wild children. I must admit, I was a wild child. Pretty sure my parents were too. Thank you for watching Another Day in the Car with Jules. I'll keep you updated.